You can't look away from the milestones. And we're now the worst in the whole of Europe, despite having those warnings, those alarm bells that were sounded on the other side of the world as long ago as January. And just, you know, a hop, skip and a jump across the water as recently as February, as long ago as February, the, the month in which Boris Johnson elected to take a fortnight's holiday. And we've now got the worst death toll in Europe. At what point do the increasingly desperate and pathetic attempts to portray this government's performance as anything other than catastrophic stop? Just in all honesty, by all that is decent, how many people do we have to bury before everybody recognises that a lot of those people didn't have to die? Even I began to get a bit tired of, of, of mentioning Germany all the time. And you'd say to me, well, if it was the other way around, James, they'd be shouting it from the rooftops. And I'd say, I'm not really sure that's the point, you know. And you can see what they're doing next. They're already putting it in place. Oh, now is not the time. Well, when is the time? Now is not the time for the... the, the well, when then? When is the time? When will the government give me permission to scrutinise the government? When will be an appropriate time to ask just how many dead people would still be alive today if the political response had been different and the political leadership has been present? I, I, I don't know, because it's just happened, and I'm very, very, very conscious of the burdens that we all carry at the moment, but, you know... I'm getting paid for this, so I'm more conscious of the burdens that you carry, perhaps, than any that I may be required to do so, because that's my job. But does that change it for you? That the, the fact that, and this day has been coming for a while now, but it's now formal, it's now confirmed, feels like a lifetime ago, but it was only a couple of months that we were talking most days about the situation in Italy. We were taking calls from Italian-based, italy -based, um, from listeners in Italy, there you go, <laughs> not a complicated concept really, and they were telling us, uh, it, it is, what is it now, six weeks since I read you that message from my friend in Gran Canaria saying, what on earth are you doing in that country? And still they say, oh yes, a lot of people are asking us about our success. And when they realise that won't wash, well now is not the time to ask these questions. And if you are a critic of the fact that we have the biggest death toll in the country, then they'll be going through your bins as I speak, looking for any old Jeremy Corbyn badges or evidence that you might have once voted for the Labour Party. As if that matters. Secretary of State for Culture writing to the BBC at the weekend without a single substantive complaint about that Panorama programme. Not a single word of um, challenge to anything that the medics on that programme said, but expressing displeasure about the fact that they have uh, not pledged allegiance to the Conservative Party before agreeing to appear upon the programme. That's how I read it, of course. They phrased it slightly differently and said that they should have declared that these people have uh, political allegiances to the, to the Labour Party. Although quite what that means in the current climate, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. If you were a big Ed Miliband fan, it's quite possible that you would have considered Jeremy Corbyn to be the worst thing that's happened to the Labour movement in, well, since it started. So what does that even mean? But it doesn't matter, does it? Because everything about these people is about evading responsibility. They're playing with the country as if it were a train set. That speech haunts me, you know. Four days after the whole mess started, four days after the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic, and Boris Johnson was talking about one country needs to go in a different direction to step into the phone box as Clark Kent and come out as Superman. I still don't really understand what he was talking about. Um, although, 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 um, it's perfectly possible he didn't really either at the time. But here we are now. Biggest death toll in Europe. And, and what are we supposed to do with that? How hard do you have to tug your forelock to pretend that that doesn't matter? How hard do you have to tug your forelock to pretend that this doesn't matter? And of course, I know better than anybody what the problem is. The problem is that some of us have been screaming for years what these people were like, and you screamed back that they weren't. So you can't, can you, contemplate yet the possibility or just the scale of how wrong you were. I don't care. There's no, no shame involved. No humiliation or embarrassment. We all make mistakes. 
But now, if you're not prepared to admit a, a, at least a mistake of trust, then you've got the job of explaining to yourself, because I don't really want to hear it, explaining to yourself why the largest death toll in Europe isn't evidence of the worst response.